Good morning, class five. How are you all, children? Okay, children. This is me, Vidisha, ma'am, with new chapter, chapter number four, more on Microsoft Word two thousand seven. Okay, so if you will remember, then this Microsoft Word we 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 have learned in class four also. So in class five, we will learn something new in Microsoft Word. Okay, and children, as it is very long chapter. Okay. It is so long chapter, no? So I am not going to read and explain. I am going to tell you how we are going to apply the different options. Okay. So here we will start. Microsoft Word is a word processor that helps you to create documents with professional look. It provides features to type and modify text. It also enhances the appearance of text and gives an option to. Preview document before printing it. Children, as I have explained you earlier in class four also, Microsoft Word is a word processor application that is used to create documents. Okay, it looks like this, and it is used to create documents. It means if we want to type something, we can type here. Okay. App, and if you want to bring some changes, you can do that also. If you want to delete it, we can delete it. We can take the printout also. Okay. We can take the printout also. Okay. So here in this chapter, we will learn the different features of Microsoft Word. So what is the first one? Copy formatting to another section selection. Copy formatting to another selection. Format Painter tool is used to copy the formatting effects of a piece of a text to another selection. What does it means? How we will apply? Okay, if I am typing my name, okay. I hope it is clear. If I am typing my name with Disha Smriti, okay, and then I have to change the size. And as I have explained, if I have to change the size in computer, whatever we have written, first we have to select it. It is in blue form, it means I have selected. Now I will go there and I will change the size 28. Okay. I have changed the color also. For example, I have made the color this one or uh, any color like this. We, I have made it bold, I have made it italic, and I have given underline. I have made this type of changes in my name. I have modified it. I have made some changes. I have made it big, color change. I have made it bold, italic, underline. I have used everything. Okay. Now, if I'm going to here write some another name like uh, Nitya. Rai, sorry, Nitya Rai, okay, now I want to bring some changes, I want to bring the changes in the same way that I have bring the changes in my name, means whatever the formatting, whatever the changes I have done in my name, I want to do in Nitya my name also, so what we will do, first we will select, then we will do format painter, what we'll do? Format Painter. Then we'll bring the here. Then we will see. The same it looks, no? The color is same. The size is same. Italic. Bold. Okay. And if I have done here underline like this. And I want to bring underline in Ethereum also. We can do Format Painter also. Is it clear? So, I hope this is clear. In this copy formatting to another section, it means whatever the changes I have made in one section. And if I want to make the same changes in another section, we can do with the help of format painter. We can do with the help of format painter. Clear? Okay. Now, we will come to the next. I will erase it. Applying super, subscript and superscript effect. Children, I have made you understand what is subscript and superscript? No. Now I will make you understand. 
what is the meaning of subscript and what is the meaning of superscript subscript subscript means places the selected text slightly below the line of the text like this is it clear one minute it is blurred no it will be clear see two is written in the down no in very small it is subscript and here two is written at the top in very small it is superscript super means upar we will learn like this okay super is at the top clear is it clear no it is subscript and it is superscript it is subscript and it is superscript so how we will do for example if i will write a2 plus b2 is equal to bracket a plus b bracket close 2 now i want to do superscript so what i have to do i have to select 2 then i will do this one understand which one superscript you will find that 2 will come become small and it will slightly come at the just like above the text then b2 again we'll do Again, we'll do this. Then again, this one. Select and then do this. This is superscript. This is superscript. Now, we'll do subscript. I want to bring this text slightly below. Subscript brings the text or number slightly below the text. And superscript brings above the text. In this, I have applied superscript. And it has came here okay so we'll do two again we will select only two we will do this one and you will see the two has came down this is subscript understand subscript brings the text or number slightly below and superscript brings the text or um, slightly above is it clear children I hope it is clear clear so format painter is clear and superscript and subscript is clear now we'll come the finding the text we will come to page number 37 finding the text to find a particular word or phrase in the current document follow these steps okay it means if you have written a big paragraph in your document and you find to want to find the particular word how you will find out like if i have written something like this as if i will type something take lots of time okay i have written like u o u t y anything okay now i want to search o what i want to search o i will do control plus f means find control plus f means find and here is another we can do with the help of this also home we will go in home then we will find here find 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 okay now i want to find o see highlighted no means the document has searched o now i want to find i enter i now i want to find sorry I want to find T clear now I want to find U clear so what does the find option help find option help us to just find the words in our document now next is replacing the text next is replacing the text how we will replace the text now here is replace if i want to replace u with x replace all you will see first look at that text wherever the u has written it will be replaced replaced by x fine sorry replace all what will you do replace all okay 
we will not find any u we will not find any u clear now again i am showing you replace i want to replace x with o no, x with p okay i want to replace all okay you will find p children it is clear is it clear okay again i am explaining you what i have teach you in page number 36 and 37 in page number 36 we have seen format painter format painter means whatever changes if i have made to any text and if you want to make the same changes to another text we use format painter okay subscript what is subscript this is the symbol of subscript where two or anything will come down below the text and superscript will bring above the text find means to find any options and just make it highlighted and replace means to replace that particular word or thing with any another word understand I hope you have understand. If you have any type of problem, you can freely contact me. Okay. Now, we will come to page number 38. Page formatting. Creating header and footer. Two new words. What is the word? Header. Header and footer. Okay. Now, it is very clear from the word header. Means head okay and footer means foot if this is my page then at the top of the document is header and at the bottom of the document is footer okay like the way your book is okay when you open your book at the very top the heading of the chapter is written it is header where we put the heading and where the page number is present we call that footer where the page number is present we call that footer clear where the heading is present we call that header and where the page number the bottom of the document we call that footer like the way our book is now how how we have to apply header and footer how we have to apply header and footer we will go in insert we will go in insert tab as i have explained earlier also all of the these are is tab all of these are tab t a b tab t a b tab you will go insert header if you will apply header no automatically footer will also be applied understand type text and when you will see down footer is also there so i'm typing here my text is computer okay sorry this is my heading okay and I want to put feed footer, I will put the page number 1. Understand? So, in a document, header is the heading of the document and footer is where we have put page number and all. Clear? Is it clear? Yes. It is very important information on the top and the bottom of the every page respectively understand header and footer children okay we can remove also how we will remove go from where we have insert from insert header remove header and we can do this removed you can this also it is removed okay it is not coming like this we can remove okay now I hope header and footer is also clear. Now, we come to page number 39. Inserting column and column break. Okay, page number 39. Inserting column and column break. When you type a document, it is displayed on the screen in single column. Style or in paragraph style. If you wish to format the document in newspaper style or display it in interesting new look, what enables you to create two or more columns in your document? Using column button. The easiest way to create a multiple column 
document is to use the column button in the page setup group of the page layout tab okay so today uh, miss now we will see how we will insert what is column and what is row okay i have made you understand know this already but again i am making you understand how we will insert the column first i am making you understand what is column i will make you understand what is column i will make a table okay children this one 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 two 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 this one 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 this one this 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 is what this all are this all are what this all are row and this one two this one column this one column this one column this are row one 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 two 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 is row one two one two one two is column understand i hope you understand okay now we'll insert column and column break to insert column break for example i have written something here okay now i want to insert column break we will go in page layout tab column in for example two parts i want to distribute two you see now whatever i will write now it will go down it will not go there if you want to write here no if i want to write here i will go down whatever i am writing no now you will see the whatever will coming it will come like this because i have inserted the column break this is column i have explained this is column it has been break into two parts it has been break into two parts okay one column two column because we have selected here two columns that's why whatever i have written it has distributed into two columns if i will do three columns it will came come, come into three columns understand children understand okay column break to insert column break what i have done i have gone in page layout tab then we'll select column there then we'll select column there then it had been inserted understand now i will delete all this there is no need control a control a next please okay children understand okay so whatever what are what what i have discussed now i have discussed format painter i have discussed sub, subscript superscript i have discussed find and replace then i have discussed header and footer and then column break okay to insert format painter we have to go in home tab to insert find and replace again we have to go in home tab for superscript and subscript we have to be in home tab only to insert header and footer we have to go insert tab and to insert column break we have to go in page layout understand no okay now we'll do now a new thing working with tabs page 39 working with tabs working with tabs a great way to draw attention to specific text is to indent it the most common way to indent the text is to use the tab key tab key is used to move the cursor at certain spaces in a document by default tab stops sets are set at every 0.5 inch you can set the tab stops along the ruler according to your requirement when you press the tab key the cursor automatically jumps to the next tab they can also they can also sorry tabs can also be created using leaders line leaders insert dots or dashes in the space leading up to the tab stop okay as children whenever we want to whenever we want to if i am writing like this no vidisha 
sorry column break is already there so we can do one vidisha then what i press to press spriti we i press space bar like this but we can press tab also there is one tab option is there no tab also and the distance between space see space is there no thoda sa aage badhta hai but tab its particular position is 0.5 smriti okay then again i will press tab it will do like that okay understand so if we are we have to give space if i am pressing the tab we can press the space bar also we can press the tab also and the distance we can increase also okay we can increase the distance also how we have to increase to increase we have to again go in on the page layout tab okay then we'll select the paragraph dialog box and click on the tabs button okay clicks on the this is indent this is indent from here we can set the tab position from here we can set the tab you can go here then tabs there are no tabs we can set the position i i will give position as 3 3 inch okay then now if i am i will press tab see it will go now like this so how we will do again i am showing to change the tab position we will go in the page layout tab paragraph group we will press here then tab is here we can do the changes we can do the changes understand okay children i hope you understand we can change the tab position now next indenting text it to indenting the text we can also go in page layout indent is here no indent you are getting indent you are getting indent we can change from here indenting feature is used to move the complete paragraph or the first line to a specific number of places from the left or right margin means in this this is left margin and this is right margin with the help of this we can change the margin you can see one dumbo is moving no understand like this we can change the indent clear whatever i will write it will write from here if i will increase more decrease it will go like this and if i will increase it will go like this moving no this is indenting we can change the particular location of the place by the specific number of inches or centimeter understand so to change the tab position and to change the page layout we have to go in page layout tab a paragraph group and then from here we can change is it clear okay now we'll come to setting margins page number 41 setting margins to set the margin to set the margin to set the margin we have to go in page layout tab margins is here you are getting no margins then we'll select and then to we'll do the changes custom margins and from here we can change top bottom left right and then we'll press okay by this we can change the page settings the we can set the margin with the help of this we can set the margin okay children i hope you are not getting uh, means it is not been over that i'm teaching lots of thing today as i'm completing this chapter you can go through the video and you can understand it clearly okay so again i am spreading to change indenting to change tab position or to change margins we have to go in page layout tab then we'll select the options from here and we can provide the particular changes okay okay now children come to page number 42 orientation page number 42 orientation what is orientation see 
if the book is like this okay it means book is in vertical vertical position book is in vertical position and when i will keep the book like this it means it is in horizontal position it is in horizontal position like this our page our document here is in which position is in vertical position portrait in computer we call that portrait in computer we call that portrait okay so we can change the orientation also to change the orientation we will go in page layout tab orientation and landscape what changes you will find you will get from here okay i'm closing this this page document has been changed no change ho gaya na like this how we will do orientation portrait orientation landscape so the vertical position is called portrait and the horizontal position is called landscape vertical position is called portrait and horizontal position is called landscape clear okay now we can change the paper size also we can change the paper size also for example like this whatever the question we were you are getting it is in a5 size but the project which you are making in a a4 size paper this the document which is present in your computer is in a4 size but if you want to change the size you can change from here you can change from here children okay later clear you can change from here also a3 then you can do 11 to 7 lots of page sizes are there okay but we will select the page sizes a4 only always okay now if i will type anything and now if i want to take the print out okay like this i have type and i want to take the print out of this shortcut of print out is control plus p we will go in file we'll select p 